So, I think we may have just found the nest for these secretary birds. It's difficult to see from here, but they often do nest on the top of little bushes like that. I can't see if there's any nesting material. Possibly it's just that they roosted there last night. It's going to be difficult to be certain, though. I have seen them nesting on very similar trees before in the past. And they are just the most incredible birds. Called the secretary bird. I'm not sure if you can make out those little black feathers coming out of the, the head. The wind's doing a good job to kind of blow them up. And it's supposed to emulate a secretary with a whole bunch of pens sticking out of her hair. To be honest, I have never seen a secretary with a whole bunch of pens sticking out of their head, but somebody must have, and hence their name. They're incredibly specialized hunters. They use those long legs of theirs to help hammer their feet down onto their prey. They kill their prey by bludgeoning it with their feet, and their prey is very often snakes. They love feeding on snakes, but small rodents, even dwarf mongoose, have fallen prey to them before. That gives you an idea of how tall they are. And they hunt by just walking through the plains. They're not aerial hunters, they're terrestrial hunters. They just walk through the plains with those long legs until they find something to gobble up. But it seems like they aren't too worried about finding breakfast this morning and are busy just pruning themselves to get ready for a day out. And they've got a big area within which to stroll through in search of their food, as you can see. Captain Murphy, great to have you with us. You're interested to know if these birds are endangered. And not that I am aware, but that's not to say I am correct. I think for them, thankfully, they haven't uh, experienced too much habitat loss. They are not a pest to humans, so they are never persecuted by humans as far as I'm aware. So I don't think they are endangered. We just haven't seen many in our time exploring Juma. There's not too many there. A sighting of one there would be quite rare. Whereas here they're quite common. It's the perfect habitat for them to live. And I've already seen quite a number of them since I arrived a few days ago. Wonderful. Well, we are going to send you back to Tristan, who has Shadow and the Cub on the move.